In this video, we will discuss what is creatine, how it works, should you use it, and if you should, then how much. This video is brought to you by Kaya. Most of us fail to achieve our fitness goal because as we get busy, we get distracted with other things and start missing our workouts. Download Kaya and never miss your workouts again. Creatine is a naturally formed compound produced in the body. It is made from amino acids glycine, methionine, and arginine. It can also be absorbed from dietary sources in animal products. It is involved in muscle building and energy production. Creatine monohydrate has been used by bodybuilders and athletes who feel their performance could be enhanced with a little extra dose. Creatine works indirectly to enhance our athletic performance. Our body metabolizes creatine into a molecule known as phosphocreatine. Phosphocreatine is involved in the replenishment of ATP adenosine triphosphate. It is the chemical in which our muscles store energy. When we are performing work at maximal effort, our muscles generate energy by breaking down ATP into ADP, adenosine diphosphate, and a phosphate molecule. Once ATP has been used up, it takes about 30 seconds or so to replenish it. Having more phosphocreatine available allows the ADP to quickly become ATP again and continue to provide energy for several extra seconds. With more ATP, muscles have more energy and are capable of doing more work in a single session. This is the basic premise of how creatine supplementation works. Creatine supplementing guideline. There are two things to consider when it comes to supplementing with creatine. One, cycle on creatine. Unlike a general protein supplement, higher concentrations of creatine can mess up your body's natural production of creatine. For this reason, you may decide to cycle off creatine every three to five weeks. This, however, is just a speculative suggestion. There is no scientific evidence on whether cycling is more or less effective. 2. Workout intensity specific usage. Creatine is only useful when the demands of your program are high, such as requiring a lot of strength and power or for building mass. So include creatine only when you are performing very intense workouts. Best approach in our opinion is to use the combination of both points 1 and 2. Rather than using creatine every day, use creatine only on the days when you have a tough training session. Also cycle your creatine usage based on intensity of your workouts and only take creatine when your workout demands are high. Then cycle off when you are just sustaining or cutting. How much creatine to take? While starting to supplement with creatine, the general recommendation is to saturate the creatine stores in your body for the first 5-7 to seven days and then sustain it for the cycle. During the saturation phase, the recommendation is to take about 0.3 grams of creatine per kg of your body weight. Afterwards, you can sustain your creatine levels by taking 3-5 to five grams a day. Best time to take creatine is after a very intense workout. When taking creatine, the creatine content of your muscles will increase. As a result, there will be an increase in the amount of fluid retention in your muscle tissue. Make sure to drink lots of water with creatine so that you do not get dehydrated. Your muscles might cramp if you do not take enough water. As a side effect, expect to look slightly bloated and to gain weight as a result of extra fluid retention. There is no harm in giving a good quality creatine supplement a try. However, you should justify the reason for taking it. Only take creatine if your workout is very intense, otherwise you are just wasting your money. This concludes our video on creatine. From next week onwards, we will be going into specific diets. Thank you for watching this video. Click the like button if you enjoyed watching our video. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more on fitness. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming up for you. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments. We would love to hear your opinion. Have a great week ahead and we'll see you next week.